ったねー。This whole morning, I've been、um, calibrating all these different grinders based on the 23 click setting of my Comandante. So, yes, I finally have their,、um, like, that is like a medium, medium setting, medium grind setting, 23 clicks. Now that we have the same particle calibration on all of the grinders, Um, I want to see how consistent they are. So we're gonna do. We're gonna use the Kruv again. And then we're gonna see how is their、um, partical distribution. Remember the Commandante? We did a partical distribution test on the Commandante. Like we did a 15 gram dose. We ended up with. 10 grams of mid size, 1 gram of micro fines, and 4 grams of the big boulders, right? I'm just, I'm just cleaning up the, the sifters because I used. Alright, so we, I'm gonna change the 500 microns. We're gonna use the 1100 instead of the 1400 because that's what we used with the Commandante、um, sifter test. Right, if you want to see that video, I'm gonna link it up right here. So I did,、um, I checked the sifting power of the crew with the Commandante, and then we saw the particle distribution of the Commandante. Okay, we're gonna test this one first. Um, this grinder、um, feels very、uh, plasticky. And the catch cup keeps going down, so I have to do that every time. And it's very hard on your arms because you really feel every, every coffee bean. <laughs> We're gonna put it on the groove. Here. Okay, now we're gonna sift the product from that specific grinder. We're gonna check the boulders and see how much how much boulders did we get. So that is. Six grams. Now we're gonna check the middle part, which looks really fine. Yeah, I think this this needs more sifting because that that looks almost every that looks very fine to me. Yeah, that is eight grams, and then the micro fine particles. That is 0.4. Right, so this is. This is that one. Everything, because we're gonna brew this coffee. Okay, next we're gonna do this one. So the boulders is five point seven. The middle part is 8.9. Now we check the microfine particles. Oh, the microfine particles is 0.5. They both have the same、um, percentage of particle distribution, except 
except that the mid-size of this grinder has better quality. The main problem with ceramic burrs, they're not so great at breaking coffee beans. So instead of cutting them, they are, they're actually shattering the beans. And when you shatter something that can break, yeah, you break it to a lot of smaller pieces. That's why you get, that's how you get the fine particles, right? Now we're gonna wait for the, for this one, for this grinder. I think of the three, this is the most ergonomic one because it has a solid body and it has an ergonomic shape here for your hand. When you grind your coffee, you, ha you have a feel on the coffee beans and each grinder feels different. It's like when you're driving, you feel the, you feel the tires touching the road like that. So when you're grinding your coffee, you feel the, you feel the grinder touching the beans as well. They take a lot of time to grind, like just a 15 gram dose. Yeah, I should have timed it. Okay, now we're gonna shake for one minute. Let's check the boulders. Okay, again 5.8. Okay, so this is the middle part. This um, mid-sized particles looks even better with this one. I think it has something to do with the alignment. And the mid size is 8.9 as well. Wow, so I assume they have exactly the same um, exactly the same burr. So I think it's a generic ceramic burr. They all have um, like like above 5 grams of the boulders and then less than 10 grams of the of the mid-sized. Okay, we'll put it back here. And now we're gonna check the microfine particles, which I think is around four. Oh no, we have more microfine particles now. So for this one, it is around one gram. Nice. Let's put it here. And then we're gonna prepare to brew these coffee. So the coffee that we use today is Helen Martes. Helen Martes Red Honey from Curve Coffee Collaborators. Uh, this is a specialty coffee from Itogon Bengal. This is actually really good. It's nutty, chocolatey with some tropical fruits. Right? There, sweet orange. Um, I'm gonna speed up through the process because this video is gonna be too long now. Right, so now we have three different coffees. Um, this one has the fastest drawdown at 149. This one in the middle, the wooden grinder. Um, the final drawdown is 155. And then the, the I think the plastic grinder, um, the final drawdown is 157. So now we're gonna try the coffee. Another round. <laughs> okay, oddly enough, even though this grinder has more finer particles in it, the body is too thin. Um, yeah, it's very thin. It, 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 it tastes like it's diluted. This one here in the middle has some like misplaced acidity to it. It's bitter. Um, as well as the plastic grinder. It's bitter, but 
Um, it has a misplaced acidity. I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, I would say this one. I would say this one here, the black grinder, has the best quality. Even though it's far from the quality of proper hand grinders, I would say out of the three, this has the best quality. Even just by looking at the grind quality after after using it, you can easily um you can you can easily point out the 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 particle distribution that this one has better particle distribution so if you really are on a very tight budget and um, these are simply the grinders that you can afford right now I would recommend this one the black one this is only 199 pesos on Shopee um, this is not a sponsored uh, video they did not pay me or they did not even send me this. I bought this of my own money. Um, and this, this grinder here um, comes with another jar, right? So this is the whole set right here for only 199 And it has the best quality out of the three. I really can't say anything about this one. It feels weird to the hand. Even it has the same uh same form as the normal hand grinders but i really feel like i'm i'm gonna break it anytime when i use it yeah it's very plasticky it's 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 very thin even the even the brew it makes is very thin <laughs> this one is very cute yeah it could sit on my counter but I would not recommend the grind quality that you can get out of this one. Yeah, so you can buy this. Yeah, I think that's the end of our experiment. <laughs> this video is going to be too long now, right? So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!